it's a team that, that we were able to go in there last year and beat them and, and beat them pretty good. So we know that they're going to be coming for they're going to be coming for us. You know, uh, it's going to be a, it's going to be a tough team. We know that they they uh, they of course are going to pose some issues for us. Um, you know, uh, we're trying to have the best week of practice we can possibly have to get ready for this game. Now you're saying a tough team, but there's a lot of people after you know the seven and six against William and Mary. You know, people are thinking it's going to be more like last year. Uh, well. A lot of things can happen in week one. You know, teams. A lot of teams. It's just really easy to come out there a little bit sloppy. You know, we weren't we weren't perfect either in our first game. But uh, you know, they, we know we know that a lot of teams make a lot of improvements from week one to week. A lot of improvements from week one to week two, and it's a team that we beat last year. So we know that they're going to be coming for us. They're going to be playing hard. Chris, how much film have you watched of, of them yet? Have you guys gotten into that yet, or like over the weekend? Uh, yeah, we've been you know we've been trying to watch as much film as we can. Of course, it's a little tough. They only have one game with their new defensive coordinator, and so we've tried been watching. Uh, you know, a little, little bit of different, you know, any, anything we really can on them. Do they mix in a lot of different looks? Like, what do, what do you see when you look at film of them? I know it's only one game, but. Um, well, they, they have an odd, they have four, uh, three, four personnel. They play, but they, uh, you know, they, they seem to play more of an under front. Uh, and they mix up their coverages, their blitzes pretty well. So, uh, you know, uh, we'll really have to be on top of our stuff to be able to, to, be able to recognize that. Chris, you, play, you played a team last week that obviously you're beating badly a year ago. It didn't seem to have any effect. Now you're playing. You're in another situation where you beat a team badly a year ago. Is, is that tougher for those games and opposed to you know some way that like let's say you were out for blood maybe you know if they had put a number on you last year? Um, it absolutely can. It, it absolutely can be tough because we know that they're you know we're not we're not going to be taken lightly. You know we, we, we may have in the we may have in the past in some in some games we know we're not being taken lightly and we're being. Being taken as fierce, as fierce competition, so we know we're going to get their best shot. But, but how did you guys guard against, you know, maybe looking past them or something, or, or not? Maybe, you know, what I'm saying, saying, hey, we beat this team pretty good last year. Um, well, it can be really easy to do. It can be really easy to do that sometimes, but I can guarantee you, we're not, we're not looking, we're not looking past them one bit. We're looking at, at them as a tough, as tough competition and a tough game to win. Is that the next step for you guys, Chris? Because there have been times, I mean, before you became the starting quarterback here, where. This program would have a big win, and then there was a letdown the following week, and then the guys would say, "Yeah, we, 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 yeah, we kind of let that slip." Like, how do you, like Mike said, how do you, how do you put a stop to that and just say it's, it's not going to, not going to happen? This time? Uh, well, it definitely has happened. You know, uh, I, can, I can point to Toledo last year when we came out flat, and they, and they beat us pretty handedly. Um, you know, the only way to put a stop to that is, is, is to really not, not, not get a chance to really let down or relax or anything. Like, we got to keep pushing forward. Uh, to keep trying to have the best practices we can and go into that game with the most with, that, with our most focused mentality. Can you talk about Matt Brown? He had a huge game against Villanova. Get your thoughts on him this year. Uh, he absolutely did have a huge game, and you know he's uh, he's uh, as I've said before, he's a he's a tough guy. You know he's a tough guy. He's a, one of the most fierce competitors I've ever had the pleasure of playing with. So uh, I'm really excited about the way he's playing right now. Yeah. Is it his versatility that, that makes him? Uh, um, he, it's it's his versatility, it's his energy, it's his it's it's his leadership on the on the field. He leads by example, and he plays hard on every snap, regardless. And you think with Bernard going, he wants to really step up and get to the next level? Well, I know he's ready to. Mm -hmm. I know he's ready to absolutely. Chris, for first game, how good did you guys feel about coming out offensively? What you were you able to do? Uh, we feel, we feel good about some things. We had some. Good long sustained. We had a couple long, uh, good sustained drives in that game, but we also had some three and outs and some issues where where uh, we got stagnant, stopped, and, and didn't really move the ball very well. So we got to get rid of those inconsistencies moving forward into this game. Any other questions? Chris, you know, you coming from North Virginia, is it extra special playing against Maryland? Uh, absolutely. I, I've got a lot of friends from back home that, that, that are Maryland fans. I've got a lot of a lot of my friends back home, uh, a lot of people from back home that are going to be coming up to the game. It absolutely is, is special. It's special going there last year. It's going to be special again this year. Were you recruited at all by Maryland? Um, a little bit. Uh, a little bit going into my senior year, but not, not a whole lot. Chris, I know maybe this isn't as much in your personality, but when we were talking to Matt, and you know how he is and how fiery he is and talks about a lot of programs who've overlooked him, kind of like along the lines of what Keith was saying. There were a lot of programs that, that overlooked you. You probably go through the whole list on the schedule this year. Is there any part of you that has a little bit of extra incentive when you're, you know, even if you're not like outwardly like trash talking or anything like that, is there any part of you that when you see these games on the schedule, you say, oh, I kind of want to show these guys that they might have missed out on? Um, absolutely. There is. There's, of course, there's a chip on your shoulder. I mean, you look at Maryland this week, I was a, I was a local guy that, that, you know, I didn't get, I didn't get that much, of, I didn't get that much of a look for them. So any game, any game like that where, where, 
know, there's team where you know that there's a team that, that really looked over you, you you're going to have a chip on your shoulder. You're going to want to play hard. Okay, thank you.